friends Mark Piotr here and today we're going to do a DIY replacement of the volume and the tone knobs on my Telecaster. This guitar has only undergone one change since I bought it and that was the installation of the Buzz Fighting nut. Excellent uh, tuning. I made a video about that nut and how nice the intonation is on this instrument. But pretty much ever since I've had this guitar, I've never really been happy with the original potentiometers. Uh, they're what they call linear pots, and uh, let's explain that right now. When you get your instrument from the factory, it comes with something called linear potentiometers. And what they do is as you turn the voltage, you know, from 0 to 10, the voltage goes up straight, okay, like that. But the problem is that the ear perceives the increase of volume this way. As you're listening to it, you're thinking, wow, I'm not getting hardly anything going on. And then suddenly you hear this big boost. Okay? So most of us don't really hear much of an increase until we get somewhere around the 70%, you know, on our uh, volume knob. And that's the uh, problem. So with the audio pots, what they do differently is the voltage goes up in a backwards curve like this, okay, giving you a lot up front and then a little bit more at the end, but then the ear perceives it closer to a straight line. And so now you're thinking, ah, yeah, now I can hear and uh, perceive a difference. Volume knob here, okay, this is full when it's straight down like that. This is the tone knob. This is full when it's straight down. Don't worry, these markings can be cleaned off later. <laughs> Increase it to about a third. About two thirds. And then full. You can see how most of the change occurs between two-thirds and full. Okay, now let's test the tone knob. Okay, for the tone knob, I'm going to go ahead and keep this at about the two-thirds to three-quarters for the volume. Okay, this is full uh, tone, wide open full. So that was the before picture. Now let's go ahead and install the new pots. All right, so here's my Telecaster on the operating table. We're going to set the hardware. This is what we need right here. When you first open this up, it might just look like a bird's nest full of wires and very confusing. And But really, focus on the fact that you're interested in these two potentiometers here. And uh, I highly suggest that you want to draw a uh, diagram of what you got here. Okay, and when you really analyze it, it comes down to this. The casing is considered ground. Uh, so look at all the black wires. All of them lead to ground. Uh, one of them specifically goes right down here to a, a screw that's in the guitar body. So all the electric guitars that I've encountered have this uh, screw into the body, and at least one of the ground wires connects to that. Uh, this is the capacitor that connects the volume and the tone together right here. That's your capacitor. Notice how it also has a lead over here to the body or the, or the, the casing, uh, which leads to ground. And then you have this wire that connects the two together, okay? 
and that same wire goes over to the three position switch okay and then the other there's only two wires left and they are both from the input jack the input jack okay one of them goes to the volume center that's a white wire and the black wire from the input jack goes to a casing all right so now it's time to take it all apart all right so that's all the parts off so if possible what i like to do is i like to get these in the hole and i like to be able to turn the wire around like this and kind of press it in together so that way it feels like it's stuck in there even without the solder i want it to be able to feel like it's steady then over on this hole and do the same thing except that this hole is going to receive two wires and i don't know if they'll both fit so let's find that out right now I'll bend this one around. I'm going to thread in the second wire and see if it fits in the same hole. Yeah, yeah actually, I think I, pretty, I think I got it. Okay, so let's turn that one around. So it's nice and tight. And turn this one. So it's also tight. Give it a little squeeze. Yeah, I think we got it. Okay. Kind of squeeze the wires together here. Bend it around the pole a little bit. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to try to solder both of those at the same time. Like I said, this is, uh, this is the kind of job where you wish you had three hands. Let's add some solder. Okay, I can see what's going to happen is that this one that one needs some coaxing so do it while it's hot that way when it cools off it'll be right where i want it and then following up on this side Watch it flow. Excellent. That was a very good solder joint. Put it back in place. Let's slip this inside. Ah. Uh huh. Looks good. The holes line up. All right. Well, here she is. I do notice a little bit of a change, uh, especially from 5 to 10, it feels like a more gradual push than it did before. Yeah, I notice a little difference on this tone as well. The main difference is that on the previous tone knob, the darkest part of the tone, if you will, seemed to only occur on that last tiny increment of turn and now it's happening sooner than that. Uh, so if you're going from dark to bright, the dark remains there a little bit longer before it gets bright. That's the difference. Back pickup at about one third volume level. Okay, let's go to about two thirds volume level. Okay, let's go to full volume level. Okay, so again, from the full to the two thirds, there seems to be a little bit more of a change than before. Yeah, I like it. 
Okay, and let's do the tone knob the same way. Volume at two thirds, tone all the way dark. Tone at about one third. Tone at about two thirds. And all the way up, right. I happen to be the first owner of this guitar. I bought it back in 2005. It's an American Tele. And from the very first day I bought it, there's always been a little bit of this noise, just a little bit of that in the amplifier, uh, even when it's clean. And um, I remember speaking to a Fender rep who said, hey, some of that sound is really the definitive tone of what the Fender Tele sounds like. Well, now that I've got the new pots in it, that little noise is gone. Um, I guess I'm going to count it as a good thing. Sorry, Fender. <laughs> well, there you have it, friends. Uh, how to replace your potentiometers in your electric guitar. I hope this was helpful for you and informative, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.